Hi there, I'm Christina Bianco and I'm playing LV in the new UK tour of the rise and fall of Little Voice. Little Voice is about uh, a mother and daughter who are polar opposites, don't get along very well. LV is very, very quiet and introverted, and her mother, Mari, is very loud, very brash, never stops talking. Um, and basically, their home, we, we're, we keep saying it in rehearsal, it's like a, a pressure cooker. They just sort of don't get along, and it's rumbling and rumbling, and something gets it to sort of bubble over in a good and bad way. If you want to be my lover, you have got to give. Taking is too easy, and that's the way it is. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. <laughs> I've, I've been uh, attached to this show since 2019 and we thought it was going to happen uh, pretty pretty early in 2020. Obviously the world had other plans, um, so it feels so wonderful to be just back in a rehearsal room and with this incredibly talented cast and creative team, but to do this play that I've wanted to do for so long. I was a fan of the film as a kid, and then I, I had my father take me to the drama bookshop in New York so I could get the script. I was like, oh, it's a play! And then um, once I started getting known for doing impressions, about 2008 when I was in Forbidden Broadway in New York City, people started saying to me, do you know there's this play, Little Voice, that you should do one day. So it's been a long time coming. <laughs> Wake me up before you go, go. Don't leave me hanging on like a yo yo. Wake me up before you go, go. Take me dancing tonight. I want to feel that. Hey. There are uh, quite a few similarities between myself and LV. I know that the first one, obviously, the dimension would be that we loved these great divas and loved doing these impressions. And they came, a lot of impressions came very naturally to me as a kid. Um, again, much like LV, my father was in radio and music and played all of these great um, artists from different styles and genres and eras. And I would sing along and sometimes take on the tone style of that particular artist. I've said this for years and now I get to do a show where it's actually applicable, like it, it's crazy. Um, so that part of LV I can relate to. I can also um, relate to wanting to escape into music. I, I don't need um, the divas to talk through or to be my best self like LV does, but I love doing it. I love channeling these women. I love the sort of um, uh, personality and power or, or just, you know, when you get to take on um, a, a voice, it's more an impression, it's not just the voice, it's, it's the physicality and the, the emotion and the personality behind the particular artist. So it's, it's just an extension of acting and I love to act, so it's, it's great in that way. It's been a hard day's night and I've been working like a dog. It's been a hard day's night, I should be sleeping like a log. So why else should I moan? Cause when I get you alone, you know I feel alright. You know I feel alright. It's hard because I don't really have one favorite in general in my life, um, but in Little Voice, there's a lot of attention given to Judy Garland. And my love of Judy can be Googled, uh, in part because she's one of the first voices I ever heard and one of the first impressions I ever did, just accidentally singing along, watching her in The Wizard of Oz. Um, and with Elvie, you can tell it's the same. I also love her because she is famously four foot 11, like me. So we love the petite ladies with the big voices to kind of represent. Um, but I think Judy's also such a terrific diva and used so beautifully in Little Voice because we watched her grow up and we listened to her grow up musically. So when I sing a bit of Judy Garland in the show, I don't want to give too much away, but it's in the script. Um, when I sing her doing, let's say, Over the Rainbow, I will sing it more like Judy in The Wizard of Oz. But if I'm singing The Man That Got Away, I tend to go, she sang that throughout her whole career. So I hear a more mature Judy doing it. So I try to honor those bits and that's fun to sort of do the same impression but yet how she's grown throughout the years so yeah Judy would be the one don't tell the others I can't 
can't get no whole shack. Satisfaction. I started low, cause I try, and I try, and I try, and I try, I can't get no, 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 yes, I can't end with a no.